What's up guys, John back here with another video and today's going to be a little different than what we usually discuss as far as the uh, firearms and knives and flashlights. Today I'm going to be talking about this guy right here. It's the Note 20 Ultra from Samsung 5G and um, just kind of one of my biggest gripes with this phone is the phone that I'm actually shooting this current video on is on my OnePlus 7 Pro which is over a year old now and I don't know but for some reason I feel like the phone that I'm shooting on right now has a more vivid, more contrasty screen to it than my $1,400 Samsung Note 20 Ultra, and um, it really bugs me. So I'm going to try to do a comparison on this as best as I can, just so you can see the differences of what I'm explaining. Um, overall, I got to say the screen on this phone is phenomenal. It's, it's a great screen, very bright does have an, like, if I didn't have my OnePlus 7 Pro, I would never even been able to see the difference in contrast and, and all that good stuff. Um, but I feel like the OnePlus 7 Pro screen is a little better. Um, you know, call me crazy, but I'm gonna try to do a comparison video as best as I can so you can see what I'm describing. Now, the OnePlus 7 Pro that I'm shooting on right now is a 90 hertz display. This Samsung Note 20 Ultra is a 120 hertz adaptive rate I guess you can call it um, so it is a higher refresh rate so overall the phone is smoother feeling it does run a lot better it's got the Snapdragon 865 plus processor opposed to the 855 processor and the OnePlus 7 um, but like I said I got to give it to the OnePlus 7 Pro on the screen which is it just blows my mind and um, I don't know maybe I can get some comments down below and people can kind of fill me in so uh, stay tuned. I'm going to try to, like I said, put some uh, collages together and some side-by-sides as best as I can and uh, see what the results end up being. Stay tuned. Alright, welcome back. So first and foremost, one of the things I'm not trying to say is the OnePlus 7 Pro is better than the Samsung Note 20 Ultra 5G. Not even close. Um, phone to phone, just overall. The Note 20 Ultra is a way better phone. Um, it has way more options. Screen size is a lot bigger. 6.9 inch uh, Super AMOLED display opposed to the 6.67 inch on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So the screen's beat. Totally, it's a beat screen on the, the Note 20 Ultra. And on top of that, it's a 120 hertz display opposed to the 90 hertz. Um, the cameras are way better than the one plus seven pro i mean they're not even in the same ballpark now when it gets down to uh, night mode shots though one of the things i will say about that is for some crazy reason um it, they, they sometimes flip flop nine times out of ten the note 20 ultra takes a way better picture night modes way better way clearer way more detail um but there are a few instances where the one plus seven pro actually uh out shoots it in night mode which kind of blows my mind but um Overall, though, like I said, I'm not trying to say that the OnePlus 7 Pro is a better phone. It's not. Um, the Note 20 Ultra is way smoother, way faster. It's got, like I said, a bigger Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset, opposed to the 855 from last year. Um, overall, though, it, it still blows my mind with the screen. And I wanted to make a video, and I don't know if anyone that watches this might be able to tell a difference, but it, it's just like, for some reason, the screen on the Note 20 Ultra... It's a great screen, like I said, don't get me wrong. It's vibrant, it's a beautiful screen. Um, phone works well, phone works really well overall. Um, I love it, I can't, can't say anything greater about it, you know? But, when I put the phone side by side, for every task, every little thing, when I open up the menu, um, when I open up my surveillance cameras outside, when I, you know, just watch YouTube videos at the highest spec, which is the 1440, um, I feel like, the, the OnePlus 7 Pro looks more vivid, more punchier, more contrasty, which I, I just, for me, I feel like there's like a, a film over the screen, and I don't believe this phone has a screen protector. The US models didn't come equipped with a screen protector, but I feel like this has more of like a, a haze or like a fog over it, so the colors aren't as punchy or as vibrant as the OnePlus 7 Pro, and uh, that really bothers me, like I said, you know, it's just, it's something that really sticks out to me and having them side by side I can really see the difference and 98% of people are not going to have two phones like this side by side so you would never notice the difference once you start using this for a couple weeks your eyes will get adjusted to it and it will look perfect in your eyes and you will forget all about your last phone but when you have both of them you have time to sit there and test and compare and contrast 
And um, that's what I did, and that's what I noticed with uh, the screen quality, which blows my mind. This is the newest, latest, and greatest, not even a few months old, um, from Samsung, which is a, it's also a $1,400 phone. And the OnePlus 7 Pro is uh, one, in a year, one, ha one in a year, or one year and a half old with, I don't know, uh, you know, a similar comparable screen, but the price point is half of what this phone costs. This phone brand new was about $670. This one, like I said, is about $14. So um, that bothers me that there's that big of a difference in screen quality. So like I said, I'm going to put together a quick video in regards to the comparison so you can see it for yourselves and comment below. Because I haven't really been able to find anything on, online in regards to the screen quality differences. I found a few people that were comparing this screen to the, the old, older Note 10 Plus screen. Um, which even then they said still the Note 10 Plus had more contrast to it. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put this together and you uh, let me know what you all think. I know it's a little different than what I usually post, but I just got the phone and it's been kind of eating away at me, you know, with, with how it overall the screen looks. But yeah, let me, uh, let me get this together and, and like, comment, share. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks, guys. Peace. All right, so S, oh, I'm sorry, Note 20 Ultra 5G screen. Just doing my normal screen record on here. Turn that all the way up.